Mark 4, I think is where I had you turn, correct? Look at verse number 37. The Bible says this, And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. Talking about Jesus. Jesus was asleep on a pillow as this boat is just in the middle of a storm and there's waves crashing into the boat and he's asleep. And they awake him and say, and the master carest thou not that we perish. Like, what are you doing sleeping? Don't you, don't you even care? We're about to die. It sounds like they're a little afraid, right? They're kind of, kind of worked up about this storm. And, and now keep this in mind too, before you want to be like, yeah, those guys, those pansies were afraid. You got like Peter, James, and John that were all fishermen and used to being on boats with Jesus here. So it's not, it's not like they weren't used to the sea and there's like a little wave or something, a little storm, and they're freaking out. These guys were, were seasoned professional fishermen, so it's not like they wouldn't have been in storms. So it was, it was a big deal of a storm is, is my point. And they go to Jesus and say, like, don't, don't you care that we're going to die? I mean, you're asleep on this pillow. And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased. And there was a great calm. They weren't expecting that. But they should have been. And this is the point that he makes then is that, and he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? Why are you afraid? How is it that ye have no faith? So you see how the fear is tied in with not having the faith. Don't, don't, I mean, don't you know who I am? Right. Don't you know who you're with? Hey, look, if Christ is with you, <laughs> you've got nothing to fear. I mean, I, I'm, you know, I'm walking with Jesus here. I, 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 what in the world is going to take me down? The forces of nature that no man can tame, Jesus can. The arm of flesh that no man can defeat, Jesus can. The army, the, the nuclear warhead, the what, whatever you want to throw out there is nothing compared to God Amen. at all. And when you really just think about it, it's like, yeah, I'm kind of stupid to have fears when I consider Almighty God. Right. Almighty God. What, what do I have to fear? And this is why Jesus rebuked them. Like, look, it doesn't even matter if the, sink, if the boat is just literally sinking. Don't be afraid. And obviously, these, you know, the, this, the ship, the storm, the turmoil, that can be applied to anything in your life. It doesn't just have to be applied to a literal physical ship. I mean, anything that comes up that's, tumultuous and causes you a lot of grief and stress and anxiety, just remember, hey, look, God can handle anything. Amen. So I'm not saying you won't be stressed out. I'm not saying that you won't be uncomfortable. I'm not saying that, that everything is just going to be perfect and you could just literally walk with a big smile through it all. Now, you should be able to, right? But again, I mean, we got this flesh, but don't fear. Don't fear. Look, things come my way. I get nervous. I get, you know, the, the, the stomach. You don't want to eat anything. You, know, you, get, you get these reactions. You can have some anxiety. But don't be afraid. Okay, be willing to just go through. If, you know, when you're doing what's right, when you know you're with the Lord, stay at it. You have no reason to be afraid. You know when you have a reason to be afraid? It's when you're getting away from God. You have a reason to be afraid when you're getting into sin. You have a reason to be afraid when you're, when you're just deciding, you know, I'm just going to do my own thing. Forget about what God wants me to do. Then you have a big reason to be afraid. But you fear the Lord. <laughs> right? But if you're, if you're good with the Father, you're good.